Hi, welcome back to Infinite Travitude. If you're new here, my name's Jess and this is Jason. We are documenting our journey as we travel around and live full time in our fifth wheel RV. We also have just rebooted our eBay store. So we're sharing our eBay and thrifting adventures with you. This week we'll be heading out to the Goodwill bins. So we'll be able to show you the Goodwill bins in Ohio versus the Goodwill bins in Charleston, South Carolina, where we just left. We are so excited to announce that we've hit and surpassed 100 subscribers. So we are going to do a little $100 gift card giveaway to um, one lucky subscriber. What you have to do to enter the con- I showed you the back of it. What <laughs> uh, The rules of entering the giveaway are pretty simple and they're linked in the description of this video below. But all you have to do is uh, subscribe to our channel like this video and drop us a comment um, on this video and it can be as simple as just saying hi or letting us know i guess what you guys are up to um, what you're interested in seeing if you're enjoying our content um, but we appreciate all of you so that's why we're doing this this giveaway just to show our appreciation of hitting 100 subscribers you can read the full description of the contest in the description down below uh, we will do the drawing on Saturday, July 29th, so good luck. And we're going to take a little walk on our property today and just show what it looks like. So we're getting ready to run into a little Goodwill here in a small town near us called Kenton, Ohio. Um, sometimes they have some cute things like some mid-century modern things or some craft things. We're kind of near uh, Amish area here. So you just never really know what you're going to find. And they also keep it really clean in this Goodwill. So we're just going to pop in. It's a Sunday afternoon. It's a quarter till two. Um, looks kind of busy, so let's see what's inside or something, but it's pretty cute. Yeah. A magnetic it top. Yeah, it's pretty cute. What you find up here? Oh, my, my, my. Uh, Lady bacon. This is a Dirty. Fish. Cute. I guess it's the band. Oh, yeah. Oh. They got some interesting t-shirts. I forgot that. They always had, like, really good price t-shirts, too. I'm in here forever. Is this wrestling? Yeah, there's a couple of wrestling. Cute! Broncos! Oops. Broncos. Oh yeah, somebody did get rid of all their Broncos stuff. Baker Baker Touchdown Maker. That's cute. Ooch. Oh, I love this. So cute. Yeah. Oh my god, I love that. Carefully drive again. That is a good prom shirt. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. That's a sweet tea. That's really cool. Fish. Oh yeah, it is a fall tour, isn't it? I don't know who Fish is. It's a band. It's like a jam band. Oh. oh, I do know who they are. Okay. One of these was a 2004. Oh, cute. This. That's really cool. That is really it's neat. I've never seen that. Oh, I like that. Tag. That's pretty cool. But it's a medium. What size is this? It's a large. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. No, it's a medium. Yeah. yeah. it's cool. Their t-shirts are well priced here. That's almost vintage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that.
So, you know, part of our journey is that we're traveling and thrifting. Tell us, is that something you do? Like, if I go out of town just to get groceries, I have to hit a thrift store. Um, if I have a doctor's appointment, to anything I do, when we travel just for the sake of vacationing, we always have to hit a thrift store. Do you also do that? What's your favorite town to thrift in? What's your favorite state to visit? Yeah, my phone is right there. Thank you, I got too much stuff in my hands. Sure. You can see my Ikea bag saved the day there. It kept my cell phone from falling on the floor. I'm constantly dropping that thing. I'm carrying this little Victoria's Secret clutch around, but you know, it just reminded me of the 90s, early 2000s, and it turned out to really have no value. Kind of looking over the J. Crew shirts here. I always feel material to see what feels like quality material. Once you get a feel for it, you can really find like linen or good Pima cottons, wools. I was checking this out because it's such a 90s, kind of has that Madras look. I ended up grabbing it just because I really liked the print. Uh, once I got it home, I realized it had a deodorant stain on it that I'm working to get out. So we'll see how that plays out. I grabbed this Untuck It shirt. I've got it listed for $22.90. It should sell in between $20 $25. Their sell through rate is still pretty good. There are 1,200 listed, 820 sold. Not as good as it used to be, but it'll fit Jason if nothing else. I did grab the J. Crew India, um, J. Crew Indian Madras Slim Fit. It's a large button down shirt as well. There are 140 of those listed with 151 sold. I have it listed, I listed this morning or so for $22.90 and just sent an offer for 20 bucks on that. So that'd be a pretty quick sale. Jason found those men's linen pants. Um, white linen is just always really popular in summer. So I've, those have already had quite a few lookers. I think I put those up this morning as well. I saw that Dracar Noir bag back there in the corner. I checked that out for a while. That takes you back to high school. I really dig through the shorts here. Looking for any kind of like hiking shorts, cargo shorts. The prices aren't too bad here, so. But if I find some, you know, good throwback cargo shorts at the bins, I'll snatch them up. I really looked over these old vintage 90s Nike shorts. And I'd have to look. I'm not exactly sure what year of Nike that tag is, but I'll bring it up a little closer so you can at least see like the colors of the swoosh. They've got that real cool silky kind of a baseball look. I try to show you that, but you really can't see the numbers. They have got a lot of snags on them. Once I really looked at them, they're real satiny and they had a lot of snags, so that did make me sad, but I put them back. The way they had them clipped, it was kind of hard for me to see all the tags. I found these Johnny O chinos. Johnny O is a pretty good golf brand. These are a size 38, and they're Pima Modal cotton mix with little spandex. They've got the little um, surfer guy emblem. I probably try to show you the year right here too, like. I can't, uh, I can't see, but they might be one that tells you on the inner tag what season they printed those shorts or, or made those shorts. Um, for Johnny O, I've got those listed for twenty-seven ninety. I am guessing they'll sell for twenty or above. There are sixty-eight listed with eighty-eight sold of the Johnny O's. That pair of hook fishing shorts. As much as I looked them over here and threw them in my cart, 
I ended up not buying them because I did look them over a little closer and Jason spotted some staining that I just was not wanting to try to tackle. Um, but Hook is a great brand right now. There are 339 shorts listed and these are pre-owned. Um, pre-owned 339 listed with 813 sold in between 20 to 30 dollars, uh, 25 to 30 dollars, excuse me. But yeah, it was kind of sad to put those back. I grabbed those Volcom shorts. Jason's been wearing those. They're an expensive brand when he buys them like at Buckle, but it just doesn't transfer through to the secondary market. You really can't give them away on eBay. I really was so into this shirt. I'm like, what is it? It really felt quality. I ended up picking it up and bringing it home. I photoed it, but I haven't um, quite listed it yet. It appears to maybe be an ASOS shirt was sold in their store. I'm not exactly uh, sure where the heck this thing came from, but I don't think it holds much value as much as I was like, it really feels quality. It's got some real crit, uh, pretty pearl snaps and everything. I think one thing we didn't really show you here in this video, I found a Torrid um, Disney collab shirt. It's like a long tunic and it's a size 5. Um, it was a Minnie Mouse with red roses, black tunic, three quarter sleeve with Minnie Mouse and red roses. And it also had its tags still, so it was new with tags. And I just listed it this morning and I sold it for $47 plus $4.95. I really liked this Callaway, but it has um, snags on the back that I didn't realize. We just really could not decide, is this shirt from Australia? Is it from London? That's why we popped those flags up there. <laughs> we could not remember which flag was which. Marmot. That's a good outdoor hiking brand. I do end up grabbing that. I don't think I've quite listed that one yet either. Just photoed it. I'm trying to build up my draft bank so that I have like plenty of drafts to release a couple every day. Got to get ahead of the game and not, I've, I've felt kind of behind with us traveling and everything. So I like to have the nice, slow, steady, consistent listing with some reserves so that I'm not always trying to catch up. But summer is a good time to regroup and rebuild in general with it being a little slower which I know is a controversial topic is it slower because of people doing their own things going on vacations not shopping or is it slower because sellers don't really put in as much work because they are also out playing, going on vacations, not listing as much. Might be a mix of both. Let us know if you see anything here as I'm kind of uh, twirling around in the electronic department. I looked over this photo printer, thought about it for a bit. It really would have been nice if it was like in a box. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want to mess with that. It looks like I grabbed this curling iron. I put it over here. It was an Ionic one, I believe. I looked at it for a long time, but I really couldn't find the brand. I'm not exactly sure what it is, so I ended up putting it back. There's a sweet mid-century modern um, mixer that I had just passed. It was over in the right corner. Um, but I really 
didn't uh, give that much of a look. That new wave was pretty beat up in the center there. I'm always looking for good things like Wolfgang Puck, Emeril Lagasse, just two off the top of my head here. And for some good chef wear. I sold a lot of pots and pans back in like 2020. I happened to hit TJ Maxx when the manager was trying to clear out a lot of things out of the home good department. So I just loaded up my cart. I saw a lot of a lot of brand new cookware. I haven't been able to do as good of retail arbitrage there lately though. 